A couple weeks ago I did a workshop on using Google Forms to track student progress and I had a teacher that came back to me today that asked for some clarifying help um, with fixing the responses that he was getting because he was concerned about his students not remembering where they were in the process. So I went through and did some research and here's how you can solve that. Um, at the very bottom of the form, before you actually have your students fill this out, I would recommend clicking allow respondents to, enter, to edit responses after submitting. I would unclick the show link to submit another response because that can get confusing. But once they come onto the form and fill out the form like this one, at the very bottom you want them to check send me a copy of my responses and then when they respond on the form, two things will happen. They'll first off get an email, which I'll show you in a moment, but the second thing is that you'll get this button here that says edit your response. Now if you hover on it, it does say save this link to edit your response later. So when they click on it, if they were to bookmark this link, so if I were to star it since I'm in Google Chrome, then I could name this whatever I want. So say this was my rocket project, then I could say rocket project, save it in my bookmarks, and then all I would need to do is go to that bookmark and it gives me an opportunity to edit my responses again. So the nice thing about this is that they, it sort of provides them with a checklist of where they've been as well as what they else they need to accomplish for this project. Okay, so if they were to need to submit a blank form again then it does give them the, the link at the very top of the page but that's how your students can resubmit the same form without having to fill out the same responses again. Now if they don't remember to bookmark this the nice thing about having them having the form send them that email is that they wind up with an email like such and when the email comes through to them at the very top it says edit your response so it, you they can click on edit your response at the very top and the same page will appear they'll be able to come in change their responses, hit submit again, um, and I would recommend they can send themselves a copy of it a second time just so that way they have a backup copy, but, but as long as they have this bookmarked up here, then every time that they hit submit, then they should be able to come in and change their responses and eventually, hopefully, check off all the boxes. I hope that makes sense, but obviously touch base with me if it doesn't.